person. Alright, so when I open it up, this is what I have. So we are going to number three. This is number three. So this is our midpoint. We can try to highlight it again. Try to highlight the middle. Alright, so once that is highlighted, connect. You see, I'm connecting it to this midpoint, midpoint line. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Hmm? I hope you can see. This is the midpoint line. So I connected it to map to meet with the midpoint line of number two, because I'm going to be cutting on that line. So just watch how I cut it. I'm cutting on that line. Once I get there, I'll turn it. I'll turn it and I'll cut. So now I'm not going to cut. I'll make sure it's not. I won't cut it out entirely. I'll just leave very little. Do you understand? You know when we're cutting the other ones, I cut it out entirely. So I'll make sure something is still joining it together. Can you see? It's not out entirely. So I'm going to spread it open. I'll spread it open. Can you see? I'll spread it over. Ah, that's cut out. So I'll make sure it's together. Maybe I'll just use a small paper tip to hold that part. It's not supposed to, I'm not supposed to cut it out. So now, this part now, like I said, we have opened it up. So we should um, now when you're opening up number three, starting number three. You know, for all this part, we didn't really measure what we're opening up because we already had an opening, which was our dart opening. So it was easier for us to, you know, do that. No, so now when we now move to that line, line number three, we need to now measure to ascertain what we have. So now the minimum you can open is three inches very important the minimum you can open is three inches now what i have here is about three and a half i'll just go with that i'll just go with that so I'll pick up my paper again and i'll place it so i try to use this method because this is far far easier for us to understand This paper will be short. So I'm going to use the wider paper. So I'll just put my thing like this. Noting the points, all the points so that I'm noting right now. So now that I have all the points marked out, I'll be connecting. Okay. Don't forget to always add the one inch. So I'm connecting this one. One inch to an allowance, so I just measure my one inch. All right, so I'll connect. I'm going to cut out. So, 
So we're going to be repeating this process for the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth lines. I said wherever we want our folds, that today will be drawing our lines. Alright, so I'm going to pick this up now and then I'll fold this through. So everything we are folding, you will notice that all our folding is going to the center front. Okay, I lost part of the clip, I'll just recap. So now this is, we are folding this way towards the center front. Can you see? So this is, after folding, we cut out the excess. Sorry, I lost that part. This is the excess that came out from here. Alright, this part was here, it came out this part so after folding you will see the excess and then you cut it out all right don't cut out other things it's just from this part that you are cutting out the excess so once you cut it out you see that it will be easy for you to fold it again you have number two go to number two go to number one again and you have your pattern looking like this so now for number four like we have done all like we have been doing we need to note this line, of course. After drawing this line, you, you have to extend your line number four to meet at this point. So once it meets at that point, I'll then start cutting again, you know, like that, and then cut it. So now I'm opening it up. I want to cut out another triangle for this part. Cutting out another triangle. So I'm spreading it out this way. So I'm going to check what I have. Okay, let me spread out by like three and a half. You know, the wider your the wider your dart, the more fabric you will use, and of course, the more paper you will use. So I'm going to note the three points. I have point one here, I have point two here, and I have point three here. So I can take it out. And then I'm going to be connecting the points. So that's the point. This is the other point. So I'll connect it this way. So I'm going to measure one inch for our sewing allowance. Don't forget to add your sewing allowance when you're drafting. You need to be patient take your time to do it well all right take your time to do it well so connect this part make sure you take your time to do it well very important and make sure you take accurate measurements you see my ruler to hold it down the excess That's the excess of that tape so I come this way again and I'm going to be holding that part And see where I'm stopping. I'm, I'm not. I'm not adding my paper tape to the sewing allowance. So I always stop at this line, this extra, this sewing allowance line. So I make sure my paper tape stops there. Can you see? That's where my paper tape is stopping. 
So don't get confused. I'm sure by now you should have gotten it. By now you should have gotten the logic behind it. So now we are folding again towards the center front. So I'm going to do it this way. So towards the center front, fold. I'll let it touch at this point. Can you see? You see where it's touching, so you press it down. Alright. So now once we press it down. This is three. I'm sorry, this is four. This is three here. You can see that because of this, we can't fold it. This allowance here. So this is an excess. This is an excess that we don't want. So look at the same thing when we're doing line three. So this is the excess that I don't want. Can you see? That's the excess because it's not going to be allowing me to fold this. So this is an excess. I don't want it. So I'll just cut it out. Please so make sure it is the excess you are cutting and nothing else. Alright, take your time and do it. So this is four, this is three. Can you see? So if you are getting it correctly, you should be able to fold it without problem. You get you should be able to fold it with ease. This is number two. This is number two. And this is number one. This is number one. Guys, can you see? So we're going to number five. We're going to number five. So I'm going to extend this line to the last. This is the last. I'll extend it. So once I extend it, I'm going to connect this number five to meet at number four. Again, you're not cutting it entirely. All right, so open it up. Can you see? So let's put our paper. Before we hold it with our paper tape, we're going to note the three corner. Corner one, can you see where I'm noting? Corner two, this place, not here. This place, corner two, corner three. Can you see? So, but I need to check. Oh, I didn't even check the wideness. I need to check the wideness to be sure it's okay. I need to extend the wideness a little. Let me see what I have. You want to use something to hold it down. I have like four, I'll just leave it like that. I have like four. Can you see? So I'll note the third corner. This is it, number two. That's the first one. So we can remove to draw it out.
much. In fact, this seed is not even sewing allowance. It's like, let's just call it cutting allowance. <laughs> it's not really sewing allowance. So that's our, our one inch allowance. Alright, and you may want to do this just to differentiate it. So I'll be cutting it out. By now you know where the excess is. Can you see just before the allowance that we left, the one inch allowance? You see, we do this, close this, this part. We put our paper tape. This is number five. We're going to be folding, remember, towards the center front. So, what we're going to do fold it. So, let's see. You can press it. Sit down. So, this is number five. Five. This is number four. Can you see if I want to fold number four? This place is disturbing me. So I need to cut it off. What are we cutting off? This is what we are cutting off. Alright. This is what we are cutting off. Please don't go and cut off what you are not supposed to cut off. So be careful. So that is it. Five. And this is four. This is four. This is three. This is two. And this is one. Can you see? So we are going to number six. So for number six, we're still going to note the midpoints and draw it to the end of this triangle. Alright, once we have done that, we're going to connect six to five. Can you see? So once we have connected that, we're going to cut it starting from this edge. Come this way. We will cut it entirely. Stop there. To so open it up. So once it's opened up, put on another paper. Spread 
to check the wideness this is about four inches so I'm going to not I think it's shifting so I can just hold it with the other hand and smooth the points this is one point here this is one point here can you see where I'm pointing? And then here. So it's at three points. And the last but not the least. So I'm going to connect. Connect this part as well. So connect. triangle right and then the one inch allowance which is folding allowance so one inch folding allowance and then I connect and I'll cut it out Cut it out. So we're going to be spreading this part open to insert our triangle. Right. So once that is done, you can put it down, and then we'll be using our masking tape to hold it down. Just placing it gently and press it to your hand. And then remember this is the allowance part. This is the allowance part. So the paper tip is not going to get to that part. I'm cutting. Right, so this part. Cutting out the excess as well. Alright, so like we have been doing, we're going to do the same thing again. Come this way. So we are folding to this towards the center. So we can press it down. And voila, we're done. So can you see if I try to fold number five, this is going to hinder me. You see this excess here. So this is what I mean. This part. So I'll be cutting it off. Can you see? So I'll pick my scissors and I'll cut it off. Make sure the excess they are cutting off. So that's it. So if I open it up, this is what I have. This is what I have if I open it up. So now there's something I want you to take note of. When you are drafting, when we are drawing our lines, we started from number one, you know, from our right side, number one, we went to our left, number two, three, four, five, six. So now when we are folding, you start from number six. 
You're not going to start from number one. You will go number six, number five, number four, number three, number two, number one. So that's our pattern. So I hope you understand. So I'd like to see your own pattern as well. I'd like to see you draft your basic bodies. I'd like to see your work. Alright, so I'll see you in the next class. Thanks for watching.